What's up guys, Aldo here with PragerU. Today I'm in Washington DC to ask people what they think about our federal government spending and the disconnect between American politicians and the average American worker. Let's go see what people have to say. Do you think there's a disconnect between politicians and the needs of the American people? Absolutely, yes. Yes, oh we agree. Yes. Absolutely. Generally, yes. Um, I think it probably is. I think a lot of those people are part of the elite that are disconnected from this person that's making $37,000 a year, which is probably under the poverty line as it is. They don't listen to us a lot. They do what they want to do. I think that the politicians on both sides really don't know what the American people want or need. I think that politicians uh, live in a completely different reality than, than most regular people. You know Rand Paul, every year he comes out with a Festivus report and it highlights government waste and government spending. I want to read a couple of these for you and get your reaction. How does that sound? Okay. Six million dollars to boost Egyptian tourism. Well worth it, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So every penny, yeah. Two point seven million dollar NIH grant studying Russian cats on treadmill studies. Cats on a treadmill? Cats on treadmills. That's something I think the American people really want to know about. Well worth the time. Taxpayers' dollars on that, I'd have said. Yeah. We spent $8,395 on a lobster tank for the Department of Defense. I don't think a lobster tank is crucial to the fabric of our society. $236 billion in improper federal payments. $660 billion in interest on our federal debt. $477,000 transgender monkey study. What do you think about that one? I mean, half a million dollars, a small price to pay to get that kind of information. That's a real thing. Yes. You think our, our government spends our tax dollars good or no? No. <laughs> Why not? No. They're spending more money on animals than us. Not just any animals, transgender monkeys. How does that make you feel as an American taxpayer? You can't think about it because your, your mind would explode. There's way too much waste. I was in the military. We paid hundreds of dollars for a bolt. Both my parents were federal government workers, and they saw firsthand the absolute waste. It was always a use it or lose it budget, the terrible policy. How do we solve this? Do you think the government has gotten too big and we need to shrink it? I think that there needs to be more checks and balances about spending for sure. I mean, we do need government. We do need government services. We do need the government to spend money. I mean, politicians are always interested in their voters. I mean, they're going to always appease their districts no matter what, because they want to stay in Congress and, and stay in power. Military spending. I mean, this is like insane here, what you guys spend, uh, Americans spend on uh, military. And, and I disagree. Uh, I think we don't spend nearly enough on military. I think our military is depleted. We have to spend a lot more. Things like Department of Education should be abolished on the federal level. I think it all belongs to the states. And I might seem a little pessimistic, but I don't really think that we have much say in how the government spends a lot of that money. Isn't America supposed to be, you know, run by the people for the people? That's a great question, yes. <laughs> I don't know how you stop it. I, I really don't. I think step one is shrinking the government. I know it's easier said than done. Good luck. Our founding fathers, when they had a 2% tax on tea, we had a revolution against you guys. And now... We're paying 40% in taxes, and we're sitting back and nobody's saying anything about it. I think you should just make America British again. I think that's, that's instead of MAGA, you want MABA hats. That's, that's what you want. Well, guys, that's a wrap for this video. Before you guys click off, be sure to like this video, share with your friends, comment down below, and let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys must have really interesting dinner talk, dinner conversations, huh? Adore this man. <laughs> see, you guys, it is possible. You can have different political opinions and have a loving marriage. And isn't that what America's all about? <laughs>